This one's going to be on this program called Mini DLNA. It's a gaming to stream your music, videos, and pictures. So what I mainly use this for is I have a uh, Linux server and I stream, what's that, you know, music, pictures, and, and videos to my tablet or phone or whatever the fuck I'm using. And it's really good because I can watch my porn and listen to music, you know, whenever I want um, from my server. You can do this on your desktop too. So you have a Linux desktop, you can do that on an issue. You don't need a fucking server, right? And I'll show you how to do this. Since my server is this Crunchbang, and that's based on Debian. So we're gonna do a Debian, so it should work for Ubuntu base also, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So obviously, first thing you need to do is install, the, um, what is it called? Mini DLNA. Should be in your repositories. And there you go, just install this sucker right here, right? Or you can use your software center, whatever the fuck you use. But after that, um, you need to go configure it. And to do that, you do sudo. Uh, we'll use nano here because most of my users are new. So I do etc slash mini dlna.config here. All this stuff is going to be posted in the description, so don't worry about it. Uh, and then you hit enter. And then you go, um, what does it go down here? This part right here, uh, this is the part that you need to uh, you know, add in your folders. So the first one, um, well, they give you an example here. So you don't really need this, just comment it out. And uh, just type in, you know, media dir here for a directory. And they have different letters here, A, P, and V, right? So the A means audio, so music, and then P, pictures, and V for video. So that's why you add like uh, three of those folders here. So point it to your, you know, wherever you, you keep your music. Um, I don't think they allow you to do externals because I try externals, they always like say fail. So obviously you want to put in your home folder, I guess. Right, so put in your home folder and then type in your username out and in the music folder that you keep it at. Uh, same thing with pictures and videos and uh, make sure the letter, you know, represents whatever folder it is. And it will filter out um, just the MP3s or you know JPEGs and uh, the videos only. Okay, so that's all you got to do that in that part. Um, what else is there down here? Yeah, so you also want to uncomment it out because I think this one was by default is commented. So get rid of this pound sign thing here or tic tac toe sign. Delete that sucker and make sure this one is on. As far as the logs or whatever, I just keep it. Um, comment it out because I don't need logs but this one is important because um, this one will do your album art and stuff like that like if you have music they do album art pictures they do like uh, I think maybe thumbnail I'm not sure but definitely album art if you have music okay other stuff you want to do down here where was that one at um, where the fuck was that name name where the hell's the name there you go this is another one if you want to do like a friendly name you can give it a name you want, right? So I put my Google use server here for uh, so you can find it easily. So that's really all you gotta do in that. And after that, uh, if you never use Nano, you know you type all that out. Uh, you hit uh, Control O to write, and then you hit Enter, and then you Control X to exit. That's pretty much it for that. And what you want to do first is uh, if this is your first time building the database, you do sudo. Uh, services, if I spell it right, and mini DLNA, um, was it force reload? Right, you do that, and it will actually build your database. Now, depending on how big your database is, if you have like a whole bunch of you know music tracks, or a whole bunch of movies, or a bunch of pictures, it may you know it may take a longer, probably say five or ten minutes. Wait five or ten minutes before you see everything in there. Because last time when I did this, I thought, um, you know, my videos wasn't showing up. But uh, basically what it was doing, it was uh, it was scanning my uh, music first. And I got like, uh, I think like 10K music or something like that. And it took a long time. So I just wait up, you know, until maybe 5 or 10 minutes. And then check back and then you should see all your stuff in there. So it doesn't actually give you a progress bar. So um, don't be confused by that. So run that sucker first, right? And then you want to do like a sudo services if I spell it right services mini DLNA and you want to do a restart 
So you can restart your uh, mini DLNA server. Uh, I mean, not your server, your daemon, right? And it should do something like this, and, and that's it. It restarts it, and that's good. You're good. You're done, right? Now you bust out your tablet or your phone or whatever it is, um, and make sure you have uh, a DLNA um, client installed. So this one is my virtual um, emulator for Android here. So I'll show you how it looks like, uh, you know, I'm on an Android tablet, but I assume there's just like programs for, you know, iOS and all these other ones. So depends on whatever devices you use. Just make sure you search for um, a DLNA client in your, um, you know, your Play Store or whatever you store that they have in there. Now, uh, if you're using FJoy, you can use this open source one. Um, so FJoy, you know, just search for like a, DLNA and then I installed this one it's called Yak and that's an open source one uh, that I use and it's GPL3 so you can use that one I'll show you that one first right so this one here it's not pretty it's not even complete but it, it is it does work and it is open source though so, and it's free too okay so let's do this here for um, music so we'll do albums, right? And basically, these are all the albums. Like I said, it's not pretty. I'll show you a pretty one uh, later on. But uh, let's say you want to uh, play Aladdin or something like that, and then you click uh, on that sucker and then start playing. Obviously, you can't hear the music, but it is playing. So that's how you do music in there. And I think that pictures here. There you go, pictures. Do all pictures. So this is all the pictures, and then you click on one of them. And it should show you the pictures. Loads it here. This is pulling from my server, so that's why it's a little bit slow. Right, so this is the pictures. And let's go back. Let's click another one. Let's go down here. Load the pictures. And there you go. These are my Naruto pictures for our example here. And as for videos, I'm not sure what I can do in here. Let's see here. All videos. Do this Intel. Uh, and then you choose your player you want. So you can use. You know, VLC, MX player, mobile player, whatever player you have, and uh, you can play it here. Hopefully, can it play? Please play. Uh, I don't think it works in uh, this virtual box here, so I'll try some other ones here. All right. So get out of that. Now, if you're not using FDroid, then uh, you know you can't get this uh, Yak thing here because I didn't see it in the Play Store. So if you go in the Play Store and search for DLNA, uh, you should be able to install like Bubble UPnP here. This one is the, the popular one, the first one, and this one's pretty cool. It's just that it's proprietary and it has like ad, uh, you know, advertisements on it. And I don't really like that. Although it is superior uh, to the open source one. Uh, you know, as much as like open source, if there's an app that's better, then I have to say it's better. So all you obviously you have to do in here is uh, click on Devices. And you can see that my server here says God bless you server. So you check on that and now you can access the library over here. So you go library. And this is how you would you know look at music and all that. So music here. And then we'll do the albums again. Again, this one is prettier. It has all the album art and all that shit. So that's why this one is superior, like I said. But let's say we do uh, Aladdin or whatever. And then when you want to play it, you click on it. And it should play it right here when you're playing now right although you won't see anything but you can see the timer uh, there's no audio in my uh, you know virtual box here but that's how you play music uh, you know on your tablet or phone uh, wirelessly over uh, you know your your router and all that so that's how you do music let's do uh, let's, let's go back here and we'll do pictures next there you go pictures I'm gonna do all pictures and this one's prettier again because you know it has all the thumbnails and everything right so let's say we go look at a picture and this one you can actually swap uh, what's that slide it to the next one so this one's much better than the open source one so you can slide this sucker here so that's another way if you're one of those person who likes looking at pictures so let's go back here and then we do movies this one should work on here so let's do videos here. We'll do all videos. And we'll do the Sintel trailer again. And we'll do MX player. 
or any other player you want to use. Uh, start over. Here we go. And this one is streaming, you know, from my server again. And here it goes, playing the video. You can skip it too if you want. There we go. It's playing. So that's how I've been doing this. And it should, let me see, let's go back. I do have some other formats. So it supports a couple of formats, um, you know, depending on your player uh, that I use. Like MKV, here's the Naruto one. Let's do that. And there you go. This is the Naruto. I skipped it here. Right. So there you go. That's it for that. Uh, so that's mini DNA. You know, it's just a protocol that you can connect to with your devices. The good thing about it and the bad thing about it, in my opinion, is there's no password. So there's no password, right? So anyone can get in it. And, uh, well, locally, if you have, like, people in your house, I really wish there was a password. So, I, you know, I can lock people out of different folders I don't want them to watch. That would be cool, but that's not part of the protocol. There's, like, no password that you can set. Uh, so it's either good or bad, depending on you. For me, I'm watching porn, so it might be bad and, you know, other people watch my shit. So that's pretty much it on how you would set it up. Just install mini DLNA on your uh, Linux machine. And you can stream it to uh, any devices that uh, has a DLNA client. Sometimes it's called UPnP client. So UPnP, DLNA, same shit. Okay. So install one of those and you should be able to look at uh, videos, music, and pictures um, from your Linux desktop to a, you know, Android or uh, iPhone device if you have a client. That'll be it for this one.